Ooh, what are you? Oh, you're leaving. Okay. That that battle was that battle was worth it. All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Yoshi Stack, and welcome back to more Super Mario RPG. In the last episode, we ventured through the Kiro sewers and found all sorts of rats and violence and rat violence, and also this weird creature named Balome that we had to beat up because he um, ate Mallow. It was it was kind of an awkward situation, but. We beat him and took a tumble through Midas River, and now in this episode, we are going to leave and head into the next area, Mallow's home of Tadpole Pond. So let's take a look at what's in here. I would venture tadpoles, but I could be wrong. So far, uh, what I'm gathering is that there are a lot of whistles. Um, maybe all of the tadpoles are sports enthusiasts, and they're, they're going to be referees one day when they grow up. I... I don't know. Let's stand here. <laughs> Ooh, here's a ref now. Hi, can I help you? Mallow, it's you. I don't, I don't know what this voice is. Don't ask. <laughs> We've heard all about your adventures with Super Mario. You guys beat up Balome, right? You know about that? See, Mario, the waterways of the world bring news to us here. That's why Grandpa knows all the news that's fit to hear. Are you really the Super Mario? Hey, everybody! You'll never guess who's here! Oh, there's a bunch of them. He's the real thing, but he doesn't look anything like I thought he would. I wonder what people think Mario looks like. Like, legends throughout the Mushroom Kingdom of, like, this mysterious man, Mario. What does he look like? Maybe they think he looks like Batman. I don't know. They do say he can jump better than a froggy. I wonder if it's only a rumor. Oh, only one way to show him. <laughs> I love the applause from creatures that don't have hands. Well, Grasshopper, what's new? Oh, snap. Grandpa, Mario's been helping me. I know, child. That rainstorm we just had, that was you, wasn't it? <laughs> Ouch. Watch it up there. You're supposed to make me look like I'm floating here, okay? Ooh, wise old man. On a fishing wire. <laughs> I love this. Welcome. So you are Mario, yes? I am Frog Fuchsius. You have come to seek wisdom from me, have you not? I've been waiting for you. Yes, old wise people can often give good advice. That That's what I've heard. Listen to your elders. Or don't. I'm not your boss. I don't know. <laughs> oh no! But how rude of me. Let's get more comfortable. Come along and we'll talk. Yeah. Full reverse. Beep, beep, beep. Tadpoles, don't just float there. Make yourselves useful. Form a bridge for Mario. And now we get the steel drums. So I guess the tadpoles can either become a referee or they uh, play steel drums for a living. Those, those are the two paths for frogs. <laughs> Yes, come into my sanctuary and partake of my wisdom, children. Let's see. That smithy character that appeared at Bowser's Keep. He is quite formidable, yes? And Mario, you wish to rescue the princess quickly, do you not? Oh, if only you knew the truth. Toadstool is no longer there. Oh my god. <laughs> the delay where Mario's like, tell me where she is. Where is she? Patience, young one. Let me explain. Here is what happened. Okay. You were rescuing Toadstool from Bowser's Keep after defeating him, and just when you were about to free the princess, when you weren't holding onto that chain that you should have been, you heard a loud crash and saw a huge sword split the sky. <laughs> Whoosh! Out of the blue! Frog Fuchsius went to the same school that Mario did in terms of uh, recapping stories. It's not quite as good as charades, though. The shock sent the three of you flying. Bowser and Toadstool are still lost somewhere out there. Now. You're worried about the princess, but first you need to take care of Smithy. His underlings are wreaking havoc in our world. Mac, whom you defeated at Mushroom Kingdom, was one of them. More will be coming. Here, here's where you get your, your information about the plot. 
Grandpa, I almost forgot to tell you something. We found a star in the castle at Mushroom Kingdom. You know why it was there? A star, eh? Most interesting. This may sound illogical, but I believe shooting stars can grant wishes. Oh my god, the more you know! And now, more than ever, I believe they will play a vital role in this fight against Smithy. Is that too much to absorb? Would you like a recap? <laughs> yes. God no. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to read all of that out loud again. It's quite a situation we have on our hands, isn't it? Mallow's gonna look into the water, wondering when his reflection will show who he is inside. Wow. Everything sounds so dire and serious. I guess Mac was only the first of many, Mario. Some of them will make Bowser seem nice. Mallow, you speak as if these things do not concern you. You will accompany Mario on his adventure, too. Oh my god! Grandpa, what are you talking about? I'm only a simple tadpole! This adventure isn't for me! Oh. The whistles are fading out. It's time for something important. Mallow, my boy. I've kept this from you until now. But you're... Not a tadpole! Say what? <laughs> And now the sad music that you may or may not have heard before. <laughs> I was he sitting here one rainy day, enjoying a snack of crickets. I happened to see a basket floating down from the falls. I peeked inside and saw a little baby staring right back at me. The name Mallow was written on its belt. I felt sorry for the little bundle of puff and took him in to raise him as my own grandchild. He had powerful magic, and I knew he was far more than a piece of fluff. I thought, surely this child must be from some far-off land. Grandpa, you mean I'm not a tadpole? This this was your first indication? Sniffle, sniffle, sniffle. Mallow! Now is not the time to cry. Go with Mario on his adventure and find your real family. Your real mother and father are out there somewhere. Psst, Mario. <laughs> Lean in close. Boy's magic is sure to come in handy on your adventure. You'll take him along, yes? Yeah, yeah. Grandpa, I won't cry anymore. I'll go on this adventure with Mario and find my real family. And it is settled. You must embark on your adventure immediately. First, go to Rose Town, where they need your help. I don't like keeping this sad music here, so let let's try and fix that, shall we? Be quiet around here with Mallow gone. Maybe a snack will cheer me up. Oh boy! That's right, I had forgotten all about it! I will give you something for the cricket pie you brought back. Uh, I know, you shall have the staff I used when I was Mallow's age. The froggy stick will come in handy. Do not forget to equip it. So we finally got a weapon for Mallow. Oh my, it jumps at 20 points. Maybe Mallow can actually do some damage without using his magic all the time for once. Time will only tell. Oh, I thought he was just gonna repeat the same thing. Go to Rose Town now, Mallow. Luck be with you. What if I talk to you from here? Grasshopper, do you not think it rude to stand on my dining table? No, but I'll get off anyway. What does this say? So la mi re do re... Great, I, I screwed reading that up. What, whatever. Insert the price is right thing again. Okay, now we can move on. Uh, Alright, so that is done, and we are done with all the required stuff in Tadpole Pond now, but we're gonna take a bit of a look around because there's some other stuff to see. So we have over here... Welcome to the Juice Bar! Are you a card member? Even Todovsky has a membership here. Sorry, you're limited to this menu if you don't have a current membership card. So here you can buy, uh, stuff. Some, uh, different items. Now, we can only buy this froggy drink here, which is not terrible, uh, but it's not too great either. But we will, uh, fix that menu in a moment, but we're gonna take a bit more of a look around. Welcome to the Frog Coin Emporium! You're a first-timer, aren't you? Listen up. The green coins you find periodically are frog coins. Accumulate them, you can buy items at Tadpole Pond. So, yeah, here is where you can spend your frog coins, and there are, uh, items that I think you can only buy here, I don't remember 100%. But so you have a sleepy bomb, which puts enemies to sleep. 
Bracer raises an ally's defense in battle. Energizer raises your power in battle. Crystalline, Crystalline raises party's defense, and Power Blast raises the party uh, the party attack power. They're fairly useful items. Um, I haven't used them personally, um, but I can see how they'd be useful. We're probably not gonna buy a whole lot of stuff here. It's just never been my thing, but it's it's good to make note of if uh, you're ever struggling in the game, you can come back to Tadpole Pond and uh, maybe buy some stat boosting items. Now we're gonna head over here. Talk to you. It, please. I've got this dream of becoming a composer. You're gonna play the steel drums! <laughs> I wanna be as famous as Todovsky. My favorite song? It's Frog Fuchsia's suite number 18. I'm not trying to read that again. Uh, Todovsky's fond of it too. Alright, so, you might be wondering, who is this Todovsky they keep mentioning? This is where Melody Bay comes in. Play notes by jumping on tadpoles. Let's hear your melody. So we have a music staff here in the water, and here is Todovsky. I am the composer, Todovsky. I'm trying to create my next masterpiece, but I've got composer's block. You want to, a, a music lesson from moi? Uh, no, I understand how this works. Well, be that way. So you can save here, too. Uh, normally I would use that, but I think we're gonna be okay. Now, the game has already helped us out a little bit by showing us a certain song. Now, unfortunately, you do have to jump back and forth. You can't just select, and I mean, I guess that's more fun in some ways, but... I will go ahead and speed this up so you don't have to uh, wait for the whole thing. Because I may screw this up. Alright, see you then. Oh, did I get it? Please tell me I got it. That took way longer than it should have because I, uh, even though I was in band for years, I forget how to read music. Great. Uh, whatever. It's done. You're, you're only seeing that part. Okay. That's it. This is the melody I've been looking for. Thank you for the inspiration. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Received an auto card. If I ever need help with my compositions again, I'll look for you here. Until then, adieu. <laughs> ah! Alright. So with that auto card, we can now go back to the juice bar and have a slightly wider menu selection. Let's head on over there. Here we go. May I help you? Ah, an auto card holder. What would you like? So now we can also buy an elixir, which the party recovers 80 HP, which is also fairly nice. These items aren't particularly useful to me right now, but again, it's good to know that these things are here. And with all of that done, let's head on out of here and to the next area. No, not Midas River, Rose Way. Alright, what do you say? You can't jump on or off the block when the block is blue. Try jumping when the block turns yellow. Alright. Where is this going? Okay. So not there. Here you go. Got these stars flying around. I don't think stars are supposed to do that, but okay. Oh, not this one. Okay. Well, let's, let's start this off. Can I please... My D-pad, please. Thank you. We got some new enemies. We got a Shy Guy and the Star Slap. And we also have Mario's new weapon. It, it's kind of weird. And Mallow's new weapon. Which, it just acts like Mario's hammer did. Oh, what are you gonna do? You're probably gonna slap us. You missed. Okay. That's fine with me. Beat him up. There we go. Okay, can we get on? We're gonna fight this other one and hopefully get on the platform that uh, is going. It's so nice. They gave Ma they finally are letting Mallow uh, beat the crap out of stuff. Fuchsia's told Mallow, you're not actually a tadpole. Go feral and beat stuff up. And Mallow was like, okay! It's going great for him. Life-changing journey. 
I was almost there. Okay. This is this is annoying even when my controller is cooperating. Nope. Okay. We might have a cut here. I don't know. Please. 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 Oh my god, okay. Finally got it. It's just a frog coin. Every time I do that, I'm like, it's not worth it. I'm not doing that in my next playthrough, and yet here we are. Um, whatever. We've got a ton of coins. It's it's not worth it. Ooh, what are you? Oh, you're leaving. Okay. That that battle was that battle was worth it. Alright. Oh, you're 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 holding that feels dangerous for the shy guys. Okay. Are are you gonna actually fight me? Oh, you threw! Oh my god, you threw a knife at Mal! Oh my god! Beat him up! Stop throwing knives at Mallow! And that coward left. Uh, we're just gonna use this on Mallow. That didn't work out either. Oh my god. My inability to block is just gonna be the running theme throughout this entire playthrough. I can I can tell already. We did get a honey syrup though. Those are useful. Oh, we leveled up! Mallow learns Psychopath. Okay, that's an interesting ability. We will see if I can ever time it correctly. why Mallow is leveling up before Mario is, but all right, we, we're gonna go and look at this. Psychopath, see foes' HPs and secrets. Uh, when you use this ability, uh, you can see how much HP an enemy has remaining. If you time it correctly, you can also get their inner thoughts, which usually just gives you some funny dialogue, and sometimes it gives you, like, a weakness. Uh, most of the time, it's just funny flavor text, but... It is kind of an interesting ability. We will see if we can use it here. There's a bunch of these chests with Shy Guys sitting on top of them. Okay. Let's let's try it out. On the Shy Guy. I'm horrible at the timing of it. I done it! Hold still, okay? So yeah, that that is what it is. There is uh, a list out there, at least with all the bosses, uh thoughts, and even ones that you, uh, wouldn't have the psychopath ability, even they have thoughts, so they were probably cut out at some point, or, or something, I don't know. But, uh, if I remember, I will put a link to that kind of thing in the description. Spoilers if you haven't seen this game before, I guess I should put that out there, but, uh, they're usually pretty funny, and now Mario has leveled up. And Mario learns super jump, and we will show that off in a minute, too. Um... Let's go with power. <laughs> Come here! Oh my god! Giant spider! Oh my god! I was not ready for that. Oh, I should've used super jump there. Okay, whatever. <laughs> we still have time! Alright, here is super jump. Let's you just do it over and over again. Kind of a staple in the Paper Mario series, at least for a while. You can keep going. Uh, I, I, the cap might be 100. I know you get a prize if you get 100, which I've never gotten, and I will not get this time. But uh, yeah, I think I think that might be the cap is 100. And we're going to fight this guy. Hang on. Oh, no. Hold on. We got a new, new enemy. Snapdragon. Again, all, all the enemies in this game are very weird. You just kind of get used to it. Wait, shooting at us. Oh, and that guy just slapped us. Never been slapped at by a plant before, but there's the first time for everything. Got it. 
You know, I really don't know if a, a shell, kicking a shell is more effective than just bashing them with a hammer, but you know, this, this game has rules and uh, oh, Mario's asleep. Okay. Thanks, game. Doesn't matter, we won anyway. I really don't need any more coins, so I don't think I'm gonna fight the rest of these. I will fight you, maybe. Oh, I blocked that one. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. We got another honey syrup. They're always useful. All right. Let's not stick around here. Let us move on. And there's something going on here. Oh. I'm Bowser. And a, and a bunch of enemies. All right, people, form ranks. Attention, shelled warriors. Hooded sorcerers. Casting some magic. And last but not least, groundling goombas. What What was that? Do goombas, was that just the goombas screaming? Does, does goombas screaming like change reality? I, I don't know. This is our finest moment. The Koopa Troop is invincible. We shall be victorious. The bridge is down, but we'll find a way to get back in. Move out on the double. Go. Interesting. Well, we found Bowser. Bowser and his troops must be on their way to Bowser's keep. Come on, Rose Town is just up ahead. Actually, we are gonna call it uh, an episode there. I don't know how long this episode is gonna be because I had to cut out a decent amount of it, but uh, I think it's just best if we call it here, so. I don't have an outro yet, but if you made it this long, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you will join me next time when we venture into Rose Town proper. See you then.